Hi, I'm Kate from craftyattic.com. I'm going to show you how to set up your machine for free motion quilting. So um, you might need a free motion foot. This might come with your machine or you might have to buy it separately. It kind of bounces up and down uh, as you do your stitches. A uh, bouncy little foot. Uh, if you don't have one, you can just not use any feet at all. You can get away with that. Um, you also need to drop the feed dogs on your machine. Now some machines this is easier than others. Uh, some machines you have a little plate to cover them. If you can't drop them or cover them in any way just set your stitch length to zero and that should get you through. It's as simple as that. So um, here's some uh, free motion quilting that I've done earlier. I've got a patch left so um, this pattern here is all in my head. I'm just going for it. So I'm going to show you now quickly just how to uh, have, a, have a little go. I like to use an embroidery hoop um, and put my work in that just because it holds all of the layers nice and tight. Uh, you don't get any ruckles or puckles on the front or the rear surface when you're doing this and it gives you something nice and easy to grip hold of so that you can manoeuvre your fabric quite accurately beneath your needle to form your patterns. So lower your foot just as you would normally and then move the fabric underneath the needle. The hardest thing about this is keeping the fabric moving at a steady enough um, pace for you to get a fairly even stitch length, but don't get caught up about it. The joy of freeform quilting, I think, is that it's not perfect. It doesn't look like it's been done by a machine. It looks like it's been done by a human being, and I love things that <laughs> look that way. So just feel the joy and go with it. Practice um, on a bit of scrap material first. Just chuck any old uh, scrap material in there and, and give it a go until you feel confident that you can guide the fabric at a fairly even pace and you're happy with the results. As I say, and don't get too caught up on perfection. So uh, another little pattern I'm going to do here just in these centre blocks is uh, just to outline some tiny kind of little pebble shapes. It gives a lovely texture just in these centre bits. These are, uh, the fabric I'm using here is man from mandalapatch.com. They're uh, patches that are symmetrical um, and you can do some marvellous effects with them. You can also use them with other fabrics as well to get some really amazing uh, designs. This is going to be a cushion. So, and this is a Glory B uh, quilt block pattern if you were wanting to know. There's a video about how to put one of those together as well. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I want more subscribers and uh, I'm releasing new stuff all of the time. So thanks for your time. Uh, please go along and visit the website mandalapatch.com. Have a look at the pretty colours and I'll see you again soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.